Uh, what an embarrassing fucking Sunday for the Browns and other Browns fans around the world. Um, the last second um, decision to Sean Watson couldn't start. Um, I guess they had assumed he would start it all would start all week and planned on it. And then he's got a shoulder contusion or something. I'm I'm worried it's a little more serious than what they're leading on, or they don't know how serious it is yet. So uh, DCR had to start, and um, DCR had a great preseason. Everybody was hyped about him. Um, hey man, he just came out and didn't play good. Um, but this one's on Kevin Stefanski, and I keep telling everybody Kevin Stefanski is an average coach. He's not a bad coach. He's not a bad play caller. But he doesn't know how to adjust. I've said it before. Nick Chubb has made Kevin Stefanski look a whole lot better than he is since he took over the job in Cleveland. And without Nick Chubb, without Deshaun Watson, and a rookie quarterback, you're going to throw the ball like 35 times compared to 14 runs? I don't care if you're not if you can't run the ball. I don't care if you're not getting any yards. You cannot sit back there with an offensive line that is, is, is regress for sure. But this offensive line, people got to understand, was not built for pass protection. When this offensive line was put together over the last few years, it was built to pound, 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 run the football, run play action. Are they an average pass blocking offensive line? At best, maybe, maybe even a little bit, slightly below average. I'm going to tell you right now, Jed, there's no reason Jed Wills should be on this offensive line, let alone this team right now. The lack of effort I see from Jed, Will, Jed Wills is just horrendous. He does not care. He's lazy as fuck, I've said before. I don't know why people in the organization keep sticking up for Jed Wills. I mean, maybe that's part of their game plan for him to act like he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Maybe they, that's that's what they tell him to do. I don't know. You, you know, I'm, I'm sick of the Jed Will shit. I don't give a fuck if you start Johnny Appleseed at left tackle next week. You fucking sit Jed Wills. But Kevin's got to be better. I, I mean... You knew there was a slight chance Deshaun might not play all week, and it looks like you just rolled out there with the Deshaun Watson game plan, so I hope he can do it. That's the thing with Kevin. He could come out and fucking have a great offensive play calling game against Sam Fran and then go, he's just not consistent. He's not. He, He doesn't know how to adjust. He thinks he's smarter than everyone. And I'm I'm sick of the same press conferences. Oh, we have to coach better. We got out coached. It's like, well, fucking figure it out, dude. You've been saying the same thing for fucking four years. Anyway, man, it don't matter if we got Watson or not back. If, if this fancy's not better, and they're gonna lose this defense's enthusiasm when the offense and the play calling's like that. The defense is just like, what, what the fuck? We can't carry y'all all fucking year. So yeah, I'm fucking sick of it. it it's weak, fucking whatever. So fancy's gotta go. It's the bye week. Sorry, it's an early bye week, but you gotta let him go. Jimmy Haslam, you must fire Kevin Stefanski right now. Right now is the time. Promote Jim Swartz to head coach. Let AVP call plays. He won't do it, but that's what needs to be done.